So this is a, a video that's going to introduce some student models and this is what they had to do. They had to make working models that show dehydration synthesis and condensation reactions and then they had to go through and I'm just going to scroll through for you to see this. So this is just going to be a short video and so what's going to happen next is I'm going to segue to videos I shot of the students who actually made these the final product. Really what we want them to be able to do <coughs> is make these models and understand what ha what is really happening. So brought to you by Curious Marine Land. And so one question that we always ask is how are macromolecules formed? And we're they're going to demonstrate that by showing dehydration synthesis. And I'm going to make another video that elaborates on this. <clears throat> but one of the things they have to do is show is they need to show how they can actually add a monomer and show the water coming out. And that's what that's what are, really what I want you to see with these student models. And then just a reminder that's the whole idea is to understand how you go from making a polymer or breaking down a polymer. And we're going to focus on the big four macromolecules. The other question is how do you separate them? And that is through hydrolysis. So these uh, student demonstrations you're going to be seeing is basically going to demonstrate hydrolysis and dehydration synthesis. And they're all going to follow oh, this pretty much, they're going to follow this pattern, and that's pretty much it. Brought to you by Curious Marine Land. So, what's going to happen next is I'm going to transition to a couple different videos showing the final product of the student work. Okay, go. Okay, so we have three monomers, and they will come together to make um, water and a dimer, and then the dimer will come together with the other monomer to make water. Now, water is part of the molecule, is it? No, or it's separate. Right, so this is your water? Okay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. circle each individual model, even though it's combined, as a, this is a polymer. Yeah, this is okay. a polymer, and then these are the monomers connected. Okay, so what's the name of that process? Um, ask like an ester. ester well, no, just the name of making a making a molecule. Polymerization. All right, so yeah, that's the generic name. Now the, we we're going to say dehydration synthesis dehydration. because you see the water coming out yeah. as you synthesize them up. It's also called condensation. Now to break it, it's called hydrolysis. So demonstrate that. Um, so the water will go and it'll become two hydroxyl groups. And then we'll get monomers. Okay. All right. Excellent. Our next model. All right. So first, identify everything. This is a polymer. This is a polymer, and this is oh, oh hold on. monomers. Sorry. These are all separate. These, these are right. all monomers, and, and this then is two waters, H2O. Okay. So when you want to make a polymer, you take out the H2O and you bring it in. Okay. So, so now it's a polymer, and when you want to break it, you bring in two H2Os. Okay. And then you have All right, excellent. So, what do you have here, and what are you going to do with it? Okay, so there are three monomers, and the dehydration process is you take an H, and then OH, and then bond the monomers together, and then an Speak H. Up. And then another O, and then bond these monomers together, and then you have two water molecules. So you get two water molecules, and how many monomers stuck to each other? Three. All right. All right. So that's dehydration synthesis. Now, you can easily break these apart by doing what? Hydrolysis. So show that. It's adding back the H and O H to each monomer. Okay. Okay, so we have three different monomers, and making it is dehydration synthesis, and breaking it apart is called hydrolysis. Right? Excellent. So let's just so you can see the water there, or the potential water. All right, here we are. Okay, so uh, right here are two proteins. They're two uh, proteins, or are they two, are amino, two acids? amino acids? Yeah. Um, 
So how they would combine would be um, these two from the amine and carboxyl groups would combine to form water, which would be stable. So they'd head out, and then from there, the carbon and nitrogen would bond, so the carbon becomes stable again. Okay, so that's your bond. Right, and for amino acids, you know the name of that bond? Uh, this one, peptide bond. Right, peptide bond. Right, so that's just showing dehydration synthesis of two amino acids.